Ryan Ham here, and I am going to uh, go over threads and uh, thread specifications for Silencer Co. and specifically for their silent the Silencer Co. Sparrow, Spectre 2, and Warlock. They have a, a special thread that's required, but if you don't have the special thread, you can still use the suppressor. You just have to uh, take care not to screw it on incorrectly or else you will screw up something. And so here we go. Uh, this is a Silent Circo Sparrow 2 and you can look in the back there and you can see that the threads have a o-ring that's uh, that brown uh, ring right there and that o-ring what it does is it uh, bears against and goes around this little shoulder here on a silencer coast spec muzzle this is a thread adapter here i'm just using it because that's the only uh, silencer co spec or sparrow specification uh, adapter that i have or, or a <laughs> the example that i have now that's the that's the way that silencer co expects you to thread it on the muzzle they also say that if you uh if you have the muzzle threaded with a, a thread length of 400 thousandths that that is just fine thank you Let's see if we can get it to focus there so what i'm going to do is look and that's a 409 thousandths Let's see if i can get a better measurement because i i thought it was three 397 so within there it's a it's a, it's about 400 thousandths this happens to be a ruger uh, sr22 pistol and it it has the factory ruger threaded barrel and that is the thread specification that Ruger uses, 400 thousandths, for their half by 28 thread. Now that works just fine, and let me show you why. Uh, I'll take a apart the suppressor. Okay. okay, so I got the suppressor apart, and I will thread it on the uh, SR22. And you can talk amongst yourselves as I am threading this on. Okay, so uh, as you see the the O-ring there. Okay, I don't have a magic camera. It will do macro. There we go. Uh, the O-ring there is just barely kissing the front of the muzzle. And that's kind of the way you want it. But um, but there are better ways of doing it. If you have your muzzle cut to silencer co specifications, and I'll screw this on. You see there's a little bit of resistance at that point. Now I'll, I'll continue to go but there's there's resistance it's not uh, it's not tightening but what it's doing is it's engaging with that there we go. It's engaging with that thread down there. There we go. And you can see how the the o-ring is actually surrounding the, the little muzzle engagement area and that protects the threads a little bit better. Um, so herein lies the problem. Uh, not all guns are created equal. Ruger threads their 1022 threaded barrels uh, at a longer thread length and I won't screw it all the way on because I'll, I'll screw up the o-ring if I do that. But notice as I'm screwing Wait until I get resistance. I get resistance right about there. And I'll show you why. Maybe if I could see down inside of there. And focus. The dry run, this worked really well. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the camera to think that there's something up close. There you go. See, the O ring is all the way right down against the muzzle now. And that would be where you'd want it to stop, but uh, you have so much thread left to go. Now, Silencer Co. sells a spacer that goes in between 
the uh, face here, the uh, the face of the thread, uh, threaded portion, and the back of the Spectre too. The problem is that's 250 thousandths thick, and I'm running at about 220 thousandths is what I think I need to 240. Uh, so I would like something that works a little bit better, and I'd also like something that threads on with some um, flats. And I found it on eBay. Of course, it's a half by 28 jam nut. It's a 176 thousandths thick or something like that. Uh, so instead of putting the nut just on, I tested a few times and I found that uh, I can put uh, washers on it. I've got a peel washer and then I've got a 31 thousandths washer. And between them, those two will work pretty good uh, to get me right where I need to be. And uh, you stoners out there will appreciate the dimension on this because what I found to work best for me is, as far as dimensions go is yeah, let's see if I can get it there. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't screw that down enough. All right, so it's hard to do on camera. Okay. Well, it came up 420 the first time, so everybody everybody, get, give a little chuckle out there. It came up 420, even though Silence Ago says uh, 400 thousandths. And, and let me show you why, at least on my Spectre 2, that works good. I will screw it down. And hopefully it'll be in focus for this as I screw it down. It just kisses it, and it is not engaged fully on the threaded portion do this again but uh, you see the o-ring has just kind of kissed the muzzle there if you can see it yeah it's having trouble focusing but there you go see how the uh, o-ring has basically kissed the muzzle and what that o-ring does is that just keeps debris out it uh, it keeps you from uh, getting your threads all gummed up what I like about this solution is with this in place I can uh, I can just leave it in place. I could do red Loctite on there, and that's what I plan on doing. And then whenever I want to screw a, a, a non-timed muzzle device on it, like a Ruger's factory uh, flash suppressor, which I'll use as a as a thread protector, I'll just screw it on basically hand tied. It'll stay there, and it um, it looks uh, about right. That's kind of a uh, kind of a good look. And then whenever I need to uh, suppress it, just take that device off. And I, I'll throw my uh, my Spectre 2 on it, and it'll be good to go. Um, so not all threads are created equal. Optimally, you want Silence or Co. Spec threads. And that O-ring engagement does keep the suppressor from backing off. And that's a, that's a really, really huge feature because you don't want the suppressor backing off. What happens when the suppressor backs off is you get uh, baffle strikes. Uh, your can can go down the range. Uh, all kinds of bad things can happen, and the can is is a huge investment, so uh, we don't want that to happen. Um, one other thing you don't want to happen is this is a uh, half by 28 threaded Glock barrel, and amazingly enough, half by 28 is is the same the world round, and you can you can thread your Spectre 2 suppressor on a nine millimeter pistol. It's kind of dying there, my batteries. Um, let me try another flashlight. And uh, you, <laughs> you don't want to do this, but you can. And, and the reason I'm showing you you can is because you don't want to. Uh, so don't accidentally, uh, don't accidentally do this, especially with the real suppressor. Uh, just watch out, because just because it fits doesn't mean it's designed to work. And see, it looks perfect. Nine millimeter hole. If you had nine millimeter holes all the way through here, it might actually survive one or two shots, but the pressure might get it in the end. Uh, so I did it so you don't have to, don't do it. And uh, that'll be enough of, uh, of my Glock demo for today. Uh, so short video today for me. Uh, you know, I like to make longer videos and uh, I hope you appreciate this. Uh, this is Ryan Ham. If you have any questions, uh, put them down in the, uh, in, in the uh, question area. Your mileage may vary, so don't just try something based on something I've said. Uh, you know, check it out yourself, have a gunsmith check it out, uh, call the manufacturer. Uh, if you're not 
technically savvy or mechanically savvy enough to do this the right way, just buy a Silencer Co's uh, spacer and uh, that is the right way as far as Silencer Co is concerned. Uh, always check for thread con concentricity because um, it might not be concentric. Now these don't look concentric, but what you'll, uh, if you look a little closer at that, uh, you could see that that's actually just white lithium grease in there. It, it is concentric. Yeah. I'll clear some of that out when I get a chance. <laughs> but uh, the white lithium grease get, kind of burns off. And uh, that's actually a, a decent, a uh, fair coolant to use to, to make your suppressor quieter. But we'll go over that in future videos. So Ryan Ham, if you found this uh, video interesting and helpful and insightful, please uh, favorite the video, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, uh, make comments down below. Uh, and I certainly like likes. Uh, give, it, give it a thumbs up. It's around here. Goodbye. Okay, and just for all those people that said, wow, oh, you're going to throw your suppressor off. It's not going to be concentric. There you go. That's uh, my range rod or my proving rod through the... Uh, it's actually a piece of drill rod going through the suppressor there. And... And as you can see, it's pretty concentric. The, the end is kind of mashed down a little bit there, but uh, it's actually dead on within about two thousandths when I measure it. So there you go. Enjoy. It's Ryan Ham. Bye.